Welcome back. Today is a very special one. It's steak night. I got a pint of beer from over the road. We got a beautiful uh, steak from our friends at Palfrey and Hall. And I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to nail your steak when you're cooking it at home, plus the ultimate accompaniment and something that we found across the road earlier on today. Beef's best friend, horseradish. So we're gonna start with the steak. I've got a kilo of ribeye steak here. And this is an easily enough to serve four people. The beautiful thing about ribeye is that the fat content is slightly lower, especially if you go towards the short loin end, which is what this steak is. Um, the fat cap is off and it's beautiful marbling that you can see in this. So there's fat inside which is going to flavour the meat, but you're not having to trim fat off as if you were having a sirloin or similar. So there's loads of meat to go around. I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to cook half of it now, half of it tomorrow. Uh, I'm just going to season it. I'm going to get my pan smoking hot and then we'll talk about cooking. So, you want to get some nice flaky salt. Cornish sea salt or Malden is fantastic. And then we're just going to give it a very generous season of salt on one side. And on the other side. So this step might seem excessive, but it's really important. Black pepper, ground fresh like this, seasoning something like a steak. The flavor of this is completely different to the pre-ground stuff. And even the pepper grinders that you can get, this grinds it, you're getting all the oils out of it. Seasoning your steak with this is a surefire way to take it someplace different. So I'm just gonna generously season it with black pepper as well. And just to say, my pan is on a high heat and it is getting up to temperature. You want it ripping hot. Our pan's on a really high heat. We've seasoned the steak with salt and freshly ground pepper. Freshly ground, really important. But I should have said at the start, the biggest thing you can do to make your steak taste nicer at home is to buy better. Steak night shouldn't be every night. It should be a special occasion. It should be a treat. And the price you pay and the care you take in finding your steak should reflect that. So we got this from Palfrey and Hall. There are small scale butchers in Debenham in Suffolk. They care about what they do. They care about where the meat comes from. They care about what breed it is, who farmed it, how they're handling it. They do smoking, curing. They look after everything basically. And I have full trust in where this has come from and I know it's gonna taste good already. So that said, we're gonna get it into the pan. I can feel that that is warming up my leg and it is ready to go. Steak's in, we're gonna cook that for a couple of minutes either side, two to three minutes, but keep feeling it and turning it and moving it in the pan. A quick note for how you like your steak cooked. Rare, these two fingers together, that's how it should feel. Medium rare, medium, well done. With a ribeye steak, there's a lot of internal fat. So it's quite tricky to cook this one rare because it's gonna be quite tough to eat. So medium rare on this will be absolutely perfect. I'm gonna give it a turn and check on it now. So this is fresh garlic. It's slightly wetter, the skin hasn't dried out. Into the pan with that. And I'm also gonna add some butter. Rosemary, sage, uh, bay, thyme, all of those woody herbs, they can handle the heat of the pan and they work really well with garlic and really well with steak. So if you're gonna add a herb, now's the time to do it. Now that this steak is almost, almost there. And now, oh, that's ready. This is the tip that I think you're gonna thank me for. Get yourself a plate, get yourself a nice flatbread, and I'm sure you've heard this a lot before, it is really important to rest your steak. 
but this time we're going to do it on a flatbread and all of that gorgeous flavor and the gorgeous juices it's just going to soak in to the bread and once we've sliced it and once everyone else is enjoying it no one else knows about that flatbread apart from you and that is your treat for looking after your epic steak steak is resting, that buttery garlic bulb is resting on top and all those flavours are going to get to know each other on there. That's your treat for yourself. And now we're going to move on to the horseradish. While this is resting I'm just going to trim it back a bit so that when we slice up the steak we're ready to grate that gorgeous horseradish on top. These leaves are edible and they are so good. And I'm just going to nestle these in there next to the steak. And as that butter falls out of that bulb of garlic, it might go on the leaves a bit. It might extract some of that horseradish flavour. And even if it doesn't, it looks pretty good. That's as much as I'm going to do with the horseradish. If you can get this, please, please do. It's intense, it's packed full of flavour, and it is the perfect accompaniment to any beef, but a bit of garlic steak especially. So I'm going to keep this horseradish ultimate garlic bread to one side. Do you want to get... Oh, Zach mate, get in here. If you do one thing from this video, and I'm sorry to say, the bread is amazing, but please invest in your steak. Spend your money with someone who cares and buy something special because you will immediately taste the difference. Even if you don't season it right, even if you mess up the cooking, your steak is gonna be amazing. And yeah, there's nothing really left to do other than try a bit and That horseradish seriously packs a punch with the bread and the garlic. That's a nice little meal there. Bit of green salad on the side. A pint of local ale next to a river. I'm unsure that it gets much better than that. And if you agree, hit the like button, share with someone else who you think will love it. And if you want to see us cook something else outside, maybe a dish special to you or something you struggle with at home, Leave it in the comments and we'll get on to it straight away. But in the meantime, I'm off to enjoy this steak in the dark.